Hi guys and welcome back to part 6 of our 100% walkthrough of Resident Evil 7. It's set on normal and we're going to collect all 32 documents, 18 antique coins and destroy 20 Mr. Everywhere statues. As I said before, if we can get rid of these items and give us space, we should use them. So I'm going to pop the dog's head key in there, and that's just opened up one more space for me. Builds this shit. Just to the right of the door is Mr. Everywhere number five. table we're going to find coin number six Hidden away in this drawer are documents 9 and 10. Again, you, you need to read one side, turn it over, and read the other side for both documents 9 and 10. And I'm going to throw a load of crap in this box. I'm going to leave it open so you can see how much room I'm making because we're about to pick up some item, items. I don't really want to be running backwards and forwards to this box um, I'm trying to keep these videos fairly short so I'm gonna leave a lot of things behind that I really shouldn't but you know it, it helps to give us room create a save point
Okay, I'm going to unlock this door first. Then directly behind us is coin number seven. Now it's, it's not important how you clear this room out or collect all these items but I suggest you pick these two items up first because you can combine them and create a health um, create some health and it will clear one of your inventory spots so you've still got plenty of room to pick up bits and pieces now collect this treasured photo um, it unlocks an item that we will get to Just here we're going to find Mr. Everywhere number six. Give him a nudge. Again, we're about to pick up a lot of crap, the shotgun included, and we've, we've got to have room to carry the shotgun, a toy shot, a broken shotgun, and a few other bits and pieces, so you need to make as much room as possible. It's over, boy! As I said before, um, Jack's really hard to kill. I'm not going to waste all my ammo trying to kill him. So I'm just going to quickly run all the way around the block and come back into this room and unlock this door. Just generally keeping out of Jack's way. Once you're in this room, just press the A button, close that door. Then to the left is document number 11. Read that. I think there's two pages to that. Read both pages. Don't be concerned with Jack, with that door closed, he won't come in here. That was document number 12 we just picked up. And we should just about have enough room to pick up this burner fluid as well. Miss me? <laughs> Ah. 
Well, I know that Jack is right behind me. If I turn around and look, that's going to give him just enough time to grab me. So what I'm going to do is just slide down this little corridor bit. Once I get to the end of this, I can sit here and wait him out. But if you did pick up the treasured photo from earlier, then I'll show you where the location is. Now we've already been in this room once, but we didn't have access to this until we got that photo. So just on that stone, if you interact with it, you'll get a steroid. They can be taken straight away and they do last indefinitely. Once again, I'm going to take the opportunity to save it here, and I'll see you in part 7 with a shotgun, which makes things a little bit easier. Unfortunately, we've only got five shells, but that's life.